Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV hosts that bombed so hard it ruined their careers. Mike Richards is now out of that role less than two weeks after stepping down as the new Jeopardy host. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable television hosts that were so poorly received that they or their shows did not last long. We will be including celebrities who went on to enjoy success elsewhere so long as their career as a TV host bombed. Do you remember watching any of these shows? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Kris Jenner Matriarch of the famous Kardashian-Jenner clan, Kris Jenner became a household name with Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The seminal reality show ran for 20 seasons on E! between 2007 and 2021. It's not that serious. We were kidding. It does. It's not a joke to me because I'm very serious about you know, how I handle your business and how I handle the business of our whole family. In 2013, Jenner began hosting her own talk show, simply titled Chris. It aired on a practice basis throughout the summer, beginning in July and ending the following month. There you go. All right. See what you think. Okay. Mm. You start with that. <laughs> The finale memorably featured Kanye West, who hadn't been interviewed in years. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to save the fledgling pop culture program, which was ultimately axed by Fox. I can't believe that this test run is coming to an end. It's making me very sad because this has been a dream come true. It's been a magical experience, and I hope I get the chance to do it again really soon. Jenner dropped out of the talk show biz for good and continued appearing on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Number 9. Danny Bonaducci This actor was enormously popular back in the early 70s, starring as Danny Partridge in the classic ABC sitcom The Partridge Family. You're still gonna let me go havers, aren't you? Sure, but you're gonna have to come up with $1,300. The 90s saw the now-grown actor attempting to kickstart a talk show career, but to middling results. 1995 saw the creation of Danny, but this only lasted one year. Because my little red-headed juvenile delinquents. <laughs> I have a nervous wreck. At the turn of the 21st century, the star hosted another talk show called The Other Half alongside Dick Clark and Mario Lopez. Did, what, you, sir? did you see when my boy beat down your brother on the celebrity boxing? You know, I did not see that, and I have to say, I am dying for a tape. Well, I am dying for a copy. I have mm. to see I don't, that. I don't want to ruin the end for you, but let me just say, I gave him a Barry Brady beaten. Despite the strong cast, the show never caught on and ended in 2003. Bonaducci even had his own own reality series on VH1, Breaking Bonaducci, but this too failed to stand the test of time. I will come there and I will shake your foundation, I will shake the f***ing rafters. Nobody will be the same. Luckily, he has enjoyed much greater success in radio and has been working in Seattle for over a decade. Number 8. Lily Singh do YouTubers do well outside of YouTube? That was the question on everyone's minds upon the release of A Little Late with Lily Singh. I am so excited. I am so happy to be here. And by the looks of it, a lot of you are happy to be here too. <laughs> it's, it's mostly the brown people because this was free to attend. Singh is an enormously popular and successful YouTuber, and she has developed a legion of fans throughout her decade plus on the platform. She began hosting her own NBC talk show in 2019. I'm trying to bridge the gap between us and your Generation Z. No cap, Gen Z finds your whole simp vibe high key sus, but it's the attempt at reconciliation for me. Translation? Yeah, yeah, sus. Oh, you're on board. Okay, sick. While it served as a watershed moment for representation in late night TV, it was canceled after just two seasons. With that, Singh's career as a talk show host was effectively over, though she's continued to build her career through her many other endeavors. People are not kind. People online are quite unkind. I agree. I get mean DMs all the time, all day, every day. Number seven. Phil Cowan and Paul Robbins. Hi, I'm Paul Robbins. And I'm Phil Cowan. This week on the Wilton North Report, Greg Jackson goes a few rounds with Bruce Mouse Strauss. Beginning in 1986, the newly created Fox network hoped to get their foot in the late night game with The Late Show starring Joan Rivers. It didn't work. Their next try was the Wilton North Report, hosted by radio DJ team Phil Cowan and Paul Robbins. The two weren't well versed in the world of TV and had little time to prepare, as they were hired late in the production process. The film leaves uh, leaves you with the, with the kind of wholesome side of this. I, um, 
she is I don't a think this is a real wholesome thing to be doing. Amid turbulent behind-the-scenes drama with inexperienced hosts, the Wilton North report was an unmitigated disaster. It bombed with critics and was shown the door after just four weeks. Cowan and Robbins failed as talk show hosts, but they later found success on the technology program The Next Step. Let's try it out, Phil. Oh, okay, okay, how many okay, here, here Paul? Put some pepper on it, buddy. Come on now! <laughs> Whether or not you spend this kind of money on a glove may depend upon your proficiency at the game of baseball. Number 6. Gabrielle Carteris In the 90s, Gabrielle Carteris starred as Andrea Zuckerman on the hit Fox teen drama Beverly Hills 90210. You know, I don't know what my life would have been like if you guys hadn't moved here. Well, you'd be editor of the paper and uh, you'd be going to Yale. Yes, but would I have been happy? An intelligent student interested in the likes of politics and media, Andrea remained a regular on the show until the end of the fifth season. Reportedly looking for something new, Carteris was given the chance by 20th Television to helm a talk show. The result was Gabrielle, a very short-lived program that ended after one nine-month-long season, airing from September 11th, 1995 to June 19th, 1996. Now, when we come back, we're going to talk to a man who thinks these women have got it all wrong, so stay with us. Following the cancellation of her talk show, Carteris continued acting and later became the president of the entertainment-based trade union SAG-AFTRA. And as the world is dealing with this unbelievable outbreak, I want you to know that we SAG-AFTRA are responding and taking action in real time. Number 5. Robert Kilroy Silk If there's one thing we learned from Shafted, it's that politicians do not necessarily make good game show hosts. Then again, the two aren't really related, so that particular fact isn't very surprising. Elaine and Ralph join me for that all-important final decision to share or to shaft. Robert Kilroy Silk served as a UK Member of Parliament between 1974 and 1986. He later found success on television, hosting the long-running talk show Kilroy. But talk shows are not game shows, and it's here where Kilroy Silk floundered. You have shafted each other. Shafted is the source of much derisive laughter in the United Kingdom, and some believe it to be one of the worst game shows ever made. It lasted just four episodes before it was game over. At least the host had Kilroy to fall back on. Tommy, we're at the end of the program. No, I can't. We've got two seconds to go. Well, there's the expert. He told you, didn't he, how we couldn't, we should, what we should do to stop criminals becoming criminals. Number 4. Fran Drescher This Emmy-nominated actress found incredible success on the CBS sitcom The Nanny, which ran for six seasons in the 90s. You know, I am not the same chick I was when I started here three years ago. I mean, I can't look for love in all the old joints now that I've acquired so much class and panache. <laughs> There's that band-aid that came off in the bathtub. Following a brief stint in movies, Drescher re-entered the world of television. You know, it took me five years to get this man in bed. I wasn't going to miss this opportunity. In 2010, she began hosting her own program, uniquely titled The Fran Drescher Talk Show, with a W replacing the L. But the daytime series struggled in the ratings and was not picked up following its brief trial. It aired just 16 episodes between November and December. I'm, I'm far more nurturing than punitive in my teaching because I don't feel like you can open an artist up. Now, if you... just for my benefit, I'm sure the audience knows, but what does <laughs> punitive mean? <laughs> While her talk show was a failure, it didn't hurt Drescher's acting career. And in 2021, she replaced Gabrielle Carteris as the president of SAG-AFTRA. It really is a small world. Number 3. Mike Richards On November 8, 2020, the television industry lost an icon when Jeopardy! host Alex Trebek died of cancer. On behalf of everyone here at Jeopardy! Thank you for everything, Alex. This is Jeopardy. One major question loomed. What happens now? The answer was a rather controversial revolving door of hosts, which included the show's own producer, Mike Richards. What do you want to do? Uh, I'd like to do a different category. Let me check the rules on that. Uh, no, we can't do that. In August of 2021, it was announced that Richards would be made the permanent host. But when he was thrust into the public spotlight, some past controversies were laid bare, including numerous lawsuits and problematic, harmful remarks that he had made on his podcast. Looks like Richard's job might be in jeopardy. <laughs> 
In the wake of the controversy, Richard stepped down as host of Jeopardy! and was fired from his various producing roles. And just like that, his career in television imploded. Number 2. Magic Johnson Suffice to say, Magic Johnson is a talented man. In fact, that's putting it quite mildly. A five-time NBA champion, 12-time All-Star, and Olympic gold medalist, Johnson is undeniably one of the greatest basketball players of all time. But basketball talent does not always carry over to talk show hosting. Well, my biggest fan is in the house. And I've been doing this show for about three weeks. And he talks about me every single day. Johnson began hosting The Magic Hour in June 1998. Its clever title was the best thing about it. The talk show was instantly lambasted, and Johnson's ex-colleague, Craig Shoemaker, even reportedly called it, quote, an absolute nightmare. Of particular criticism were Johnson's presenter skills, or lack thereof. My next guest is the 1998 Playboy Playmate me, of the Year. You're telling me, wait, slow down, stop reading from the card. Okay. In September 1998, The Magic Hour got the axe, proving more of an air ball than a slam dunk. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Chevy Chase Did you know that Chevy Chase had his own late night talk show? Exactly. That's how bad it was. If I knew you were going to be this enthusiastic, I would have rehearsed. A ton of money went into the Chevy Chase show, with Fox apparently paying the star $3 million and turning Sunset Boulevard's Aquarius Theater into the Chevy Chase Theater. However, the result was reviled, with critics taking note of Chase's poor showings and the rambunctious behavior of the crowd. Even the network's chairwoman at the time, Lucy Salhani, called it, quote, uncomfortable and embarrassing. Oh, you don't know. What? I guess you weren't there. We shot it after you left. No, what? I tried to break your window. Are you serious? No. No. Huh? They are. You broke my window. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good start, isn't it? Despite some great guests, the Chevy Chase show bombed, and it only took five weeks for it to get canceled. It was a bigger disaster than Clark Griswold's Christmas. Hey, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm sick to death. We'll be right back. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.